Talk on microphone. Is this working? Hello? Test? Hello? Welcome back to Benchworks Garage. My name is Corey. And first, let me apologize for how long it's been since I've uploaded a video. You see, the winters here are cold and my health hasn't been well. But nonetheless, I have been getting some work done. When we last left off, I promised that I was going to be doing my best to improve the quality of these videos. And I think that I've started in that direction. So I've created an intro that I know I need to shorten up a bit, but for the time being, I hope that you enjoy it and can provide some positive feedback for me. Take a look. I hope that you enjoyed that quick video. Like I said, I know I need to take it down around 20 seconds. I'm still learning a lot about how to edit these videos and how to best present them to you so they're entertaining. I'm gonna do my best to continue trying, and until then, I hope that you can bear with me. Now, over the last couple of days, I've posted quite a bit of information on Facebook regarding HP Tuners, the service that I provide downgrading firmware, and I've had some questions. Question number one, first and foremost, is how do I know what firmware I have? Well, I'm going to show you right now, so take a look. First things first, if you're worried about updating the firmware on your device, you're not going to want to be opening 4.4 or newer. So we're going to go ahead and open 3.6 here. And you can see that I've already got this I logo selected at the top. Now it looks a little different over various versions, but it all works the same. Once you've got your interface connected, go ahead and click on the I in the VCM Suite info page that is opened. And right here you can see that this interface has previously been updated to 121, but then downgraded. So now the firmware is 120 and we can use it with older software. All right, now that you know what firmware you have on your device, you may be wondering how it is that you can downgrade it. Say for instance, you have 121 and you've decided that it's unstable or it doesn't allow you to service a vehicle for either yourself or one of your customers in a legal manner that older versions of the software allowed you to do. I'm gonna put some information in the description below where you can contact me and if that's a service that uh, you would like performed, that's something that I offer to you. Now again, I must stress that this is for legal purposes only. Please do not send me messages asking about pirated software. Do not offer it to me. Don't ask for it from me. Please do not discuss it with me. It puts me in a very difficult position. Up until now, I've done everything that I need to do in order to provide this service to many of you, many of you watching this video. And the reason that I've been able to do that is because I've made sure I've done it in a safe and legal manner that would not jeopardize myself or you, and certainly not your customers. So please respect that and refrain from asking about pirated software. Now that we're done with that, let's talk about how to install multiple versions a VCM suite on a computer at once. As you know, if you have a newer version of VCM suite installed and you try to install an older version, it's gonna tell you that you can't because you already have a newer version installed. And if you have an older version installed and install a newer version, it's already going to remove that older version. So I've prepared a video to quickly demonstrate how it is that you can install multiple versions on your PC Okay, first things first, we're going to create a working folder. Next up, we're going to create a folder for the shortcuts, and we'll get back to that in just a few moments once we're done installing. Once we've got both of those folders created, we're going to start with the oldest version of software first. Now I selected just a few versions here for an example, but you can use whatever versions work for you. 
Once we've got that installed, we're gonna cut this folder. Put it back in the working folder. We're gonna rename it with the version number. I always sped this up 2x now. So if you need to go back and watch this, you can cut it in half on YouTube and that's gonna help you out. We're gonna move on to our next version of software. Now I'm gonna copy what version it is before I install it, just to make things easier if I need to rename it. There we go. We're gonna rename that folder, add installation by just control V. We're gonna get that version installed. Once it's installed, we're gonna to go to the installation folder and we're gonna cut that folder out and we're gonna put it back in our working folder. Moving on to our third version, copying the version number. Changing the folder name to that version, just to make things a little easier on us. Perfect, installed. Go to the installation folder, and we're gonna cut it and bring it back to our working folder. Go back for our next version. We're gonna skip some of those just for example. Move on to 3.6 and change. Get that installed. Paste in our version number so it's already named when we go to copy our, or uh, relocate that folder. Cut that folder, go back to our working folder, paste it there and we're gonna do one more version before we move on to the next step. 4.0.6.0. There we go, copying the file name so we can name our folder to make things easier on us later. And we're gonna cut that folder back out again, go back to our working folder and paste. Well, one more version. And of course, once we get it installed, we're gonna cut that folder, bring it back to our working folder. Well, we don't necessarily need to do that since we're gonna bring everything from the working folder back in here anyways. Let's go ahead and paste everything back in there. And now is where our shortcuts is gonna come in. We're gonna select each of those and we're gonna copy over each version. We're gonna create a new folder in our shortcuts folder. We're gonna go right down the list here. Each version, one by one, create a shortcuts folder. That way we know exactly where the shortcuts are for each version of the software that we need. Okay, now we have all of our shortcut folders. We can just send a shortcut from each of these programs to the desktop. We know what version it's in, currently in 1.7. Make sure that you don't copy it into the wrong folder. Now we're gonna move on to the next one. Send a shortcut to desktop. Make sure that we are indeed in the folder for 2.23.431. Copy it over into our shortcut folder. 
and we're going to continue this until we're finished. Once you're finished with this process, all you need to do is open the HPT shortcuts folder on your desktop, click on whatever folder version you would like, and then select one of the shortcuts located in that folder. And that's how you can install multiple versions of HP tuners on the same computer. Well, now that you know how to check the firmware on your device, and you also know how to install multiple instances of VCM Suite on the same computer, I hope that helps. As I said before, if you have any interest in downgrading from 121 firmware to 120 firmware, the contact information will be in the description below. You're welcome to send me an email or find me on Facebook. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. And if this is something that you like and appreciate, Please help me out, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up if this is something that you appreciate. Until next time, thanks.